<laughs> Somebody said Usher gave Tom the beats in Boondocks. Did he? <laughs> Somebody said Fonnie Willis. This is what Ply said. Fonnie Willis, fuck that case and run for president. I'll VP you. I won't find a free thug. But outside of that, I got to see about Fonnie Willis. Ain't never been turned on in my life. I know she smelled good too. Talk that talk to me, Fonnie. You ain't got to pay me. I'm going to pay you. I know Fonnie wet, wet. I mean in the most respectful way. After watching her on the stand, I'm turned on. I know that thing good. Fonnie, hire me. I work for free. Damn, this nigga need a timeout, nigga, or he need an IV. This nigga thirsty as shit. Goddamn, plus. Anyway, yo, Let's get into some of the Kanye West stuff that's been going on, man. Yo, Kanye West uh, has been gaining a lot of flack since he's dropped his album. It's not necessarily because his album is anti-Semitic, but because people believe he's anti-Semitic. He's realizing the cost of, you know, saying he was going to Jews. And despite at first him saying, I'm not apologizing, he was like trying to stand 10 toes down. Essentially, at this point, he's now changing his tune and not only is he changing his tune um it feels like people don't want to forgive him so today his album got temporarily removed from apple music and the vultures one with him and ty doll sign was actually removed okay uh there was actually an article about it that i posted oh, to my own post it uh, oh maybe it yeah billboard put out actually an article about it here we go okay cool so essentially i well i guess they updated the, the post it says kanye west vultures already has a new distributor okay after a brief deliance with fuga so apparently it was being distributed by fuga remember kanye west is an independent artist so He's currently, which, by the way, this is one of the first times in history that an independent artist has topped the charts as he has, okay? Um, it says uh, his new album was moved back. Uh, so so pretty much Fuga came out and was like, yo, we don't want to distribute this anymore. Now, you have to realize, you have to realize that, um, why don't I give him a second? Sorry, chat. I'm just checking on one thing really quickly. Hmm. Okay, so you have to realize, so Kanye is he's independent right now, which which I'm still unclear if he fully either was just out. Of, well, actually, uh, Def Jam had, had, had agreed that his contract was up with them, but he was trying to buy his previous masters. They still won't give him that. Regardless of the fact, he's now independent and he's putting out his album right now. Granted, by the way, this is one thing that's going to go under the radar. We got to salute and we got to support Kanye in some capacity. I'm not saying support Kanye on the things he's saying, but we should put it into perspective. We should put it into perspective that um hold on. Yeah, we should put it into perspective that Kanye West is one of the only artists and I'm not saying this is Kanye's peak, but he's decided to be independent whether it's Drake, Jay-Z, and all, all these other guys, well, I mean, jay is in a different position now, but, like, when they were at the, even remotely near the peak of their career, anytime their contracts were up, they either re-signed to a major, but they never were independent. This is why people always saw the independent move never really go anywhere, because of the top 10 rappers, you've never seen them go independent when they were out of a contract. We're seeing it with Kanye West, and some of y'all could be like, well, well, he has no choice, because after the anti-Semitic thing, pretty much labels are backing up from him. But 
like Kanye West is a huge artist still, like somebody would have probably like did some type of deal with him, even if they didn't co-sign either what he's saying on the album or if they don't co-sign co -sign what he was saying about um, Jews, right? Anyway, he dropped this album. It's independent, but he dropped it through a distributor called Fuga. And basically, this is just how bad Kanye West's name is in the streets at this point, dog. They really wanted to take this shit out of here. They wanted Kanye West music. They want to stop distributing. Now, let me tell you how distribution usually works among most of these situations, right? If you upload ver ver uh, on TuneCore or let's say like United Masters or whatever the case is, if you just have a straight distribution with the company, they'll usually either charge you like a fee, right? Which it could be like, hey, here's the, which TuneCore would do it. But for a bigger situation where they're going to help promote and help market and fucking trying to use playlists, they might be like, they want a percentage. Here's my point. This company, Fuga, was probably going to get a percentage from Kanye's album. Kanye's album, I don't know how much it took to make it, whatever the case is, but it was going to make a shit ton of money, right? Again, it's reportedly, if you guys don't know, it's reportedly going to... It's reportedly on pace currently to sell 140,000 first week, right? So if you think about that, like, it's going to be clocking in the millions just in the initial week, and then there's going to be more millions to come later. Uh, an album like that, which, by the way, I don't, I don't know what you guys think about the particular project. This is what I think about the uh, the project, Vultures 1. I think that Kanye West rapping has gotten a little bit lazy. Um, I think he kind of relies on these shock value bars and, and, and certain bars that are certain cringy type of lines at this point because he's more about getting across the image more than just making great music and he's hell bent on putting certain messages that he's think he thinks is in his life flight life plight um more than just saying hey let's do shit that makes sense so i think the album suffers like that a little bit um with that even though by the way i think he does decent also here's the thing if we think about the other aspects of it, beats wise, I think I think there's amazing beats on this. I think when it comes to production, we've never heard a Kanye West album that we're like, yo, this is just all trash instrumentals. That's his thing. He's a producer in life. So I think that the production was fine. And by the way, here's the other thing too. I thought all the features were spectacular. So if you ask me, I actually thought this was a good album. So I don't know, I feel like people are trashing it. Um, but I actually like this album, right? You know, I think it's a decent album and more, it's more like a good album to me because other than uh, I look at Kanye, like he could have done a little bit more. I thought Ty Dolla Sign was excellent on every time I heard him. Any other feature, whether it was, uh, uh, um, Dirk or anybody else, uh, or, um, shit, even, even Rich the Kid, even shit, Cardi, who people think had a story verse. I thought those verses were amazing. So again, I can't sit here and call this particular project trash. So that's what I think about it. Anyway, um, it's going to make millions of dollars and probably tens of millions of dollars by the time, you know, um, this elapses like four or five years. Regardless, the distributor has now came out to say, oh, we don't want to distribute this no more. So you guys have to either figure out a way because we're going to take it down from all streaming platforms. And that's was the new thing. So anyway, uh, Fuga dipped out. And now he had to go to another uh, label that would distribute it, which is, uh, or distribution hub, which is Label Engine. So let me just read the article. Kanye West and Tadal signed a collaborative album, Vultures One, moved between distribution companies on Thursday, started the day with Fuga, then ended up moving to Label Engine. Okay, so distributed, it's a distribution company that is, um, it's a distribution company that is owned by uh, create music group in 2015 they had previously put out some lead singles or whatever whatever however the album well confusingly however the album arrived via fuga okay uh clearly it says a fuga person told billboard on thursday that a long-standing fuga client delivered the album vultures one through platforms automated processes violating her service agreement as a result, wow, wow, this is shitty. They're basically saying they never approved Kanye to be on their platforms at all. Wow. They said basically somebody who has a contract with them just put Kanye's album up there without telling them it was Kanye and without them approving that they would work with Kanye. So as a result, the company planned to remove it from their system. 
This created some turbulence for West release, which was briefly pulled off Apple Music and iTunes before it reappeared. The album home label engine, which founded by Rich Billis in 2022, he said of, of 1,500 labels and a total of 90,000 artists uh, use his company for distribution. He said Bill's company was built, uh, built his client base in part because we had a low distribution rate, which was 15%, compared to 25%, which a lot of other people do. Yeah, a lot of... Actually, for artists who's not really signed, you're going to get 30% probably, um, 30 to 40% in terms of distribution fee. We also provided free of use accounting and promotion to blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. We don't want to read too much about them. On Wednesday, Spotify removed the song Good Don't Die from Vulture One after Donda Summer's estate complained about it in per it interpolated the singer's work without permission. Wow, why did Spotify get involved in that? That's a court issue. Let them sue. And let the judge put an injunction to stop that track from being on your platform. Why, why is Spotify even getting that? That's weird. As did Apple Music and Amazon Music. That's kind of odd. Okay. But despite the hiccups around the new album release, listeners continue to seek out the song Carnival, which is the number one on Spotify's daily top songs global chart, picking up nearly 6 million daily streams on the service. By the way, I will also say this. I talked to... And let me not name names because I know I don't want to get people in trouble. I talked to my guy at Spotify. They said that they they have playlisted um, Carnival and that Carnival's been doing pretty good. So they're claiming that they're not blackballing or they're not like shunning Kanye, but he's clearly going through some stuff, right? Like for example, we had seen Kanye come on Instagram Live and he literally was talking about the fact that he can't book any um is it this hold on he said he couldn't book any stadiums and he was kind of worried about it let me let me play a few of these clips real quick is it this there we go yo this yay we just sold out the united center in seven minutes and I just want to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that I had access to in the past year. And when I call, people say there's no avails for me. And you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please. Yo, this yay. We just sold out the United Center in seven minutes. And I just want to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that I had access to in the past. So essentially, he says he can't book arenas. And by the way, I think this is the point we're here with Kanye. They've got a Kanye on bending knees. And, and despite if you think Kanye should be allowed to say whatever you want to say or you think he's right, whatever the case is, Kanye West has finally hit his head on the ceiling. He ain't the most powerful nigga out here. And also, there's certain things that are so big in terms of power and and i know some of you are like yo everybody's proving his point nobody gives a fuck about his point okay what, what they'll take his point and do is kill his career and kill his influence he needs to be in these arenas he needs to be able to sell stuff in stores and here's the problem that's coming into place the like these outlets are just flat out denying him saying hey listen you can do what you want to do but do it on your own terms we don't want to be a part of it and you get to realize that no man is an island, and, and that's a popular saying, but it's true, and it's coming, it's coming to fruition at least for Kanye West. Here we go, a, a little bit more. Wait, where's the other Kanye clips? Okay, so, you know. So by the way, he has a three-hour interview with Justin LeBoy coming in. This is part of it. Life is not a solo project, mm -hmm. and I believe that. Being the single richest black man in the world cannot secure your position in order to move people. Right. A king needs an army, and it became an army. It's, mm. It was like, yo, Ty is with me. Through, he came to my party, and I looked, and I was like, yo, this dude is like, Shout out to Ty. The, the head of the through. spaceship. You know what I mean? Like, he's going, like, like Han Solo. You know, life is not okay. a solo. 
All right, so that happened. Then he was seen in the airport. By the way, people saw him in this mask. First time out. In the city. I think this was him in the Super Bowl, probably. Yeah, I think this is him in the Super Bowl. Uh, then, allegedly, this was a Super Bowl commercial that he made that aired. Hey, y'all, uh, this is Yay, and it's my commercial. And since we spent all the money on the commercial spot, we actually didn't spend any money on the actual commercial. But the idea is I want you to go to Yeezy.com, Y-E-E-Z-Y.com. And I'm going to write it at the bottom of the screen. And I got some shoes. And mm, that's it. Okay. Which, by the way, again, I, I didn't see it air, but apparently some people claim the air. Um, to me, this is like, it's a little odd because, like, some people say it aired some places, but not some places. Nothing is why would ABC or even the NFL agree to have put Kanye West? Keep in mind, he can't get in certain stadiums. And stuff. Why agree to put him on? on on any type of platform if you're gonna say oh you could go here but not there but whatever the case is uh he then talked about like uh some people having critique of his wife which by the way if you notice on that that video he made sound like he just got like like his teeth wasn't all the way there but if you don't know look at how his teeth look supposedly he replaced his teeth with some shit this is kind of odd this is i don't know what he's doing but he was in the airport and um this is what came out afterwards by the way, he also sat with the supposedly only the owner of Adidas, which he later amended the caption to say that he was thinking about doing a deal with them, which he was going to give them like part part of the profit. I guess he deleted that that picture. Um, but yeah, the caption was like he added to say, "Hey, sh like you know, I'm I offered him thirty percent of the profits." if they will let me distribute my Yeezys through them, right? So basically, he's talking about the distribution model yet again. Anyway, uh, this was him in the airport talking about people critiquing his wife because people did see his wife at the Vultures, um, the Vultures, like, you know, premiere, and people thought that, like, yo, what the hell is going on with her? Actually, I didn't even post that because I thought it was TOS. She was in, like, some scantily thing. We feel like you could see her pussy and maybe her titties. I don't know. But anyway... This is um, this is him talking about people discussing his wife. Yo, I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. You understand what I'm saying? What? <laughs> what <man? laughs> no. So what I'm saying is I delivered the album. Then people still in my comments talking about why are you posting your wife? Because she make me happy. That's why y'all happy with the music. Because I'm happy. You understand? So don't ever say nothing negative. If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go fuck yourself. Seriously. Leave me, leave the king the fuck alone. I don't care, bro. I'm going to post my wife as much as I want. Go post your wife on your fucking Instagram. Oh. I just want to. So that happened. Then he ran into people at the airport, and here's this conversation. Kanye West airport interview. Here we go. Do you take back any of the anti-Semitic stuff you might have said? Black people can't be anti-Semitic. We are Jew. You understand what I'm saying? We are Jew. So, so, so cool, so cool out. Until you do your facts, until you really do the facts with the fake indoctrination that y'all put into the schools and all that, you know what I'm saying? We're not following y'all rules. Looks like him. Yes, Kanye. You're inside of this unit wow. number one. Do you think the controversy people? helped you? It wasn't about the controversy, it was about the ability to say how you felt out loud. And if I didn't have the various skill sets of music and clothing and the fan base, they would have been able to destroy me. But because we had all those skill sets, somehow I'm here inside of this universe, able to fight. Well, you can't be destroyed. Well, proud of you, man. 
Thank you. Love you. You're amazing. I love all the people that supported me. You okay with that? And you know what I'm saying? We needed to have something that was Apple level. You know, where's the Apple level? It's just me and my bro Elon. That's that's it. You know I saw some of the streaming yeah. platforms removed you. We number one. Right. We number one. You know, everything that they did only helped us. I like it. Remove us. I like simplification. Streaming platforms is bull to the artists anyway. Spotify would give us five hundred million dollars between all of us and say work it about a bunch of sales. I'm like, what? Well, what about Adele? What about Drake? What about Weekend? What about Taylor Swift? What about me? They like, no, no, no. Doesn't have matter how much any of y'all stream. I gotta work that half a billion. A half a billion? A half a billion? That's what streaming companies think of us as the musicians and all the label owners just hand it over. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We ain't on that, bro. As long as I breathe, I'm here for all of my artists. All of, all of my peers and all the people. People get in the way, that's what the market does. They get in the way. The diamonds are infinite, but people make a market out of them and try to charge more. They make diamonds are uh, a, a, a girl's best friend. You see what I'm saying? They make the, they make the twits bigger. They're trying to make a set, you know what I mean? You're still okay. backing down Trump? <laughs> hey, what's next for you, Kanye, man? You see what's done every time, what's next for you? You still backing Trump? Yeah, of course, it's, it's Trump all day. What yeah. you talking about? Yeah. You know what it is? I thought they sent me in the hospital. For like supporting, hold on, hold on one second. Be quiet before you get exiled. No. <laughs> what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you have to say to people who resent your success? What do you have to say to people who resent your success based on some things you've said they disagree with? That's the whole thing. They got the right to their opinion. I got the right to my opinion. You understand what I'm saying? We yeah. all have the right to our opinion. So shut the fuck up before you get exiled. But so many people. <laughs> will lose their jobs, lose their careers for taking the steps that we took. Ain't that nigga from Abba and Preach right here? That's that nigga right here, eh? You know, we, we went down for like a year and a half. You know, people think that I got, you know, kicked out of Adidas for the tweet. We were having problems before. They were stealing my designs. They still trying to sue me. It's like, get right. Right. Yeah, but I, but, no, get right, be honest. Y'all gonna send me $100 million a year, then say, that I misallocated the marketing. I was the marketing. Look at where y'all at now. Look at where we at right now. Y'all wanna play? You know, gonna have me nap on the board. These companies, Gab, Balenciaga, they, they they just wanna use the celebrities and have us be like the uh, the polo man on the on the top of the horse. And everybody knows. Everybody felt what I felt. You know what I'm saying? I even said the apology, and they they still fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I said apology. Some of the stuff I was saying was true. So until y'all come up and say, yo. When he was saying some of that was true, then go ahead with all that. Do you take back any of the anti-Semitic stuff you might have said? Black people can't be anti-Semitic. We are Jew. You understand what I'm saying? We are Jew. So, so, so cool, so cool out. Until you do your facts, until you really do the facts with the fake indoctrination that y'all put into the schools and all that, you know what I'm saying? We're not following y'all rules. I mean, just like putting death con on Jews and that's sort of, like, do you take back any of that sort of? More extreme stuff. You know said. what? For all the kids that love me, all the Jewish kids that love me, I'm sorry if y'all had to hear a grown up conversation with us screaming at each other. But we got to a point where something needed to happen. Something needed to be said. Somebody needed to say something. Now, if you're in an argument with somebody, you're not going to say everything the right way. But it got to a point where y'all ain't going to just keep running, start calling me bizarre and impressed for all these years. I got to a point. How many more times are you gonna call me crazy? How many more times are you gonna give me fake medication that makes me fat off of a, a, a misdiagnosis? When I'm really- At least say, give me fake medication that makes me fat. He has slight signs of autism from the car accident. But then y'all gave me, you say whatever, just give him that bipolar medication. Y'all try to kill the superheroes. But we here, we alive. She's pretty attractive. I never heard her. Actually, I did hear her talk. Y'all think she gonna write a book or try to expose them if they ever break up? I'm hoping they don't break up. But if, if they ever break up, do, do you think that Shorty's gonna like write a book about that nigga, man? Be like, yo, this nigga had me doing all this shit. I, this was against my will. I was not fucking with it, but I, I had no choice. This nigga was intimidating me. Like,
Y'all said, hope, hopefully not. Shit, man. She's in it for some reason. You got to imagine, like, bro, like, <laughs> nigga, when she was a little girl, she didn't think she was going to just wake up and just listen to Kanye West every fucking day and just put on these weird-ass clothes. So I'm pretty sure she has a goal to it. Maybe maybe just like, oh, I, shit, being with this guy is financial freedom. Or maybe it's like, oh, nah, like, I kind of like that we get to live our life on a different type of axis or scope. Maybe that's cool. But, um, shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. Kanye better watch the fuck out. Somebody said, yo, stop, act before you piss off Ye. Man, who cares about pissing off Ye? Somebody said, she's an engineer. Engineer doing what? What is she engineer? She was an engineer before being with Kanye West? Okay, anyway. So I say, did he already talk about Deontay Wilder and his brother? What happened with Deontay Wilder and his brother? I don't, I don't know about that. Put me on the game. Hold on. Jesus. I, 